Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about one of the basic fundamental of Java. So first day when you code the Java, lots of people talk about hello world, hello world, hello world. What is the hello world, right? So that is what I'm going to explain today. So here if you see, um, this is um, how the basic um, structure of the uh, workspace would be, right? So this is the workspace. If you see to the left, this is just the uh, JRE library. Um, here I have just blank project. It has nothing there. All I did is right click here, new Java project, right? New Java project. And then what I did, I just entered the name here. In my case, I entered demo class. So I just did demo class and just hit finish. So that's what it gave it to me. And then after it did inside the SRC folder, I did right click here, new package. Okay. So package, any classes should reside inside the package. If you don't define one, it will create you the default package, okay? So I did that package, also package, I named it com.basicjava. So normally the package naming convention starts with all small case. So you would be writing com. Advanced Java. right? So that's how it would be in the package inside the package where the classes will reside so in order to do that you just like you did the package now you would be right clicking into the package again so inside the basic new okay in this case we're going to create a class okay this class name we're going to write hello world okay. and this name is just totally up to you you can write whatever name you want but normally java standards is it starts with the uppercase at the first and if there are any conjunction with a different word, you would be writing another uppercase in the starting. Okay, it's not the camel case, uh, but in this case, it is the uppercase starting first word, then camel case afterwards. Okay, um, so we just have empty class now. If you see here, there's a package com.basicjava for basically this is saying wherever this class is located at what package it is residing, that's what it is giving you information. If you remove that you're going to get error right there. Next thing is when you do double line in front, double slashes, that means Java is telling that is the comment. So you cannot comment this, right? Um, you cannot comment the package. And then next thing is Java will have the curly braces surrounded in order to tell the method. Okay. Now this is the class. So very first thing is in the classes, you will have one thing that is called main method. So which would be public. Ring with the array that's called array of arguments. Okay, so this is the main method. Basically main method is um, standing with public static void main with this arrays of arguments. Okay. Now, if you see here, I have like two different enters, it's fine. In Java, the spaces really doesn't matter, but the uppercase, lowercase, those matters. You cannot make this public with the capital P and then it will be not happy. Java is a case sensitive language, so you need to be careful on that. Um, so for the hello world, all I do is I create this public stack. Main. So basically public static is static means it's a class level member main is a method name Okay, main method is a method name. You cannot have a two methods inside of one class Void means it does not give you any value, right? It is it, it, it just dies on its own um, In my other video, I'm going to write about return type methods and then you'll get more understanding But for now just stick to hello world um, and then public is it this is always a public okay main method is always a public and static so this is how their structure would be so now if you noticed this method is surrounded by the method is closer so that means this methods area goes all the way up to here okay and if you see this one when you double click it will go to select all the way to where that is closing right this open closes all the way to here this one if i click opens here closes here right so basically this is the class level area class level section this is the method level section okay if you write multiple method 
it's going to contain multiple of this right so that's just get that so now next thing i want to tell you is just because we want to see something right some value so i will write um this one dot out dot print Alan, okay hello world so that's the only lesson i'm going to show you today because i don't want to bump with so many messages so that you will get lost okay so this is the only purpose of this video so just watch clearly so i'm going to explain it top level is a package so here if you see com.basicjava.demos okay it has the same thing it will come right there as soon as you create a new class into the package like this it will automatically print out for you now next thing is a class name class name with the open and curly braces it's already given when you do right click new class right now this method is what we wrote so this method is a main method without the main method you cannot run it you cannot execute it okay otherwise you need to have a j in it we're going to talk about that different videos different area but if in order to run the java application you have to have a main method that's the number one you can have a class without the main method but then you cannot run it if you see here run as java application i see that option now for example i can comment this okay it's still not an issue right still is not an issue i need to save it now if i see run as there's no java application i cannot run this okay so that's why we need to have a main method also and now next thing is whatever is inside the main method is only going to execute okay not everything is going to execute whatever is inside the main method is only going to execute now let's run this run as java application okay I need to save that now if you see hello world is there okay hello world now hello world you can do plus not there here plus um you want to get uh your name something you can also do this now what does it do let's put some spaces here I'll tell you why so now what does it do it will try to concatenate with this word with this word okay so I can do right here run as Java application hello world John okay now I can also add some numbers here okay but in this case it is only going to print me out it is not trying to add John with a 12 okay basically this is nothing but the string nothing but the word or sentences right here it is attached so i need to add spaces so like i said inside the quote is it, it is space sensitive as well outside the quote you add a space doesn't matter okay so run as java application hello world john okay that is all for today this is very base basic video please go install the workspace which is uh, eclipse or any id tool that you like uh, if you need instructions on that i have i'm, I'm going to add this uh, link of that video uh, please do follow that um and then install the java once you have that try to create a new project um and then you can come up to this place and then you can create one basic package any package you name the new class new class will have a uppercase is started for the first word that's the standard and then every bracket should close you cannot the class label should always close at the end you cannot do this and then try to open the main method it will always error out main method should be inside the boundary of the class okay so inside the boundary of the class main method cannot go outside cannot go outside okay the class is the one that captures everybody you cannot have anything outside the class then it will be error okay so be careful with that and try to practice this and we're going to talk about further things in the next video thank you very much for watching this video and please 
you like this video like and subscribe my uh, videos and channels thank you very much for your support we'll see you in the next video